Hello Ace Enthusiasts, we're having a big physics smack down here, we're having horizontal versus vertical motion. Okay, so what we have here, we have a cliff, and on top of the cliff our little science nerd is perched. Yet again he's decided to end it all, for some strange reason. So, he's going to jump off and accelerate in a, horizontal, in a vertical fashion towards the floor. At the same time, he's had enough of his calculator here, so he's going to throw it off. Okay, no more calculations for him. So, the question usually talks about, explain why this body will hit the ground at the same time as this body. Talk, uh, so, not only will he fall down to the ground, we need to also describe the motion as the calculator comes down. Now, why do they both hit at the same time? Important points. Horizontal and vertical motions are independent of each other. They do not affect each other. What that basically means is he could throw his calculator at 2 meters a second, 30 meters a second, or fire it at 300 meters a second. It's still going to fall at the same rate. Gravitational attraction, gravitational field will pull all objects dropped at the same rate. So gravitational uh, acceleration is constant. Now AS, we ignore air resistance. So there's no air resistance. This means, in theory, you could throw something and if gravity wasn't there, it would just keep on going at the same speed. Obviously, no, that's not true. What's more likely to happen if there is air resistance is this object will slow down on a horizontal plane and do something like that, all right? But because we ignore air resistance, we normally say that horizontal motion is constant once it's released, okay? So, fundamentals here, horizontal, and vertical motions are independent. They do not affect each other. Gravitational field is constant, so therefore the acceleration of all objects, once dropped, is going to be the same. So that's the limiting factor to how long something can stay in the air for, is how high it's thrown, because it's all going to accelerate to the ground at the same rate. Because air resistance, or the force of air resistance, is ignored, objects will start and finish at the same velocity horizontally. So in AS, if you can figure out the initial uh, horizontal velocity, the final horizontal velocity will be exactly the same. And there, that helps you figure out, if you can, help, if you can figure out how long something will take to hit the floor, that will give you a certain time. Then you know that if it started at three meters a second, Okay, let's see if I can get that in the frame. If its initial velocity was 3 meters a second, then its final velocity is going to be 3 meters a second because there's no air resistance. And if the initial time was equal, if the time it takes to fall is 4 seconds, then it's really simple to figure out how far away this object will land on the floor. It's just 3 meter distance equals speed times time. So it's 3 times 4, and that will give us a distance of 12 meters.